the Mercedes G Wagon, the three decade old off roading icon has been given a new lease of life thanks to Mercedes Benz World, which is importing updated examples of Stutier Punch's classic G Class into the UK. Available in right hand drive and with a choice of one diesel or a one petrol engine, you can now have one of these rugged, boxy, five seat hand built gel and wagon 4x4s on your driveway. This revival has spawned a couple of special edition runouts including the rugged G500 4x4 squared and the six-wheeler giant G63 6x6. Not content with just leaving the G-Class the same, Mercedes are tinkering with their retro SUV for the 2018 model. Fans will be glad to know its boxy shape, ladder chassis and livery rear axle will remain, however there are suggestions it could be wider to allow more interior space as well as having a revamped cabin and infotainment offering. But assuming you're not a UN peacekeeper or professional mountaineer, the question isn't so much, would you be too mad to buy one but, exactly how mad would you need to be? A little bit nerve frayed, or a stark raving lottery winner? Our test example, a 3.0-liter V6 Turbozel G350 Bluetech version gave us a good idea. Mercedes-Benz should be applauded for the thoroughness of its update to the G-Class. This oil burner gets MB's 7-speed auto box, electro-hydraulic power steering even, and returns an acceptable, for a 2.5-ton off-road behemoth 28.5 miles per gallon and 261 grams slash km of CO2 on the combined cycle, figures vastly improved on from the original reincarnation. While propping up the range is the 5.5-liter V8 petrol engine built by AMG and produces consequently 563 bhp and 560 pounds-foot of torque. And yet the G-Class's driving experience remains determinedly, irredeemably old tech. Optional 18-inch alloy wheels with 60-profile winter tires combine with the G-Class's rough and ready trailing rink and panhard raw suspension for an alarmingly choppy ride on typical urban roads. Performance is as plentiful as you'd ever want given the G-Class's approximation of body control and lack of steering precision, with a 0 to 62 miles per hour time of 8.9 seconds and a 119 miles per hour top speed. While the 5.5 liter V8 AMG model is a different kettle of fish as it manages 0 to 62 miles per hour in 5.4 seconds and goes on to what would likely be a terrifying 130 miles per hour top speed. But whichever version you choose this is a car you'd only ever drive slowly, particularly over larger bumps and dips, for fear of being thrown out of your seat. And regrettably, Mercedes electro-hydraulic power steering doesn't seem to be powerful enough for the Jeep class, the car's helm is now seriously heavy and slow to self-center. None of which would matter much if you were buying the GE class for its considerable off-road credentials. This car will forge 600 mm of standing water, more than a Land Rover Defender, and has approach and departure angles to humble a Toyota Land Cruiser. There are three separate differential locks, two, for peerless traction in slippery conditions, and a low-range transfer case for the 7-speed box, 